So first things first is organization. So as you can see, um, I couldn't find a planner that I recently had because I am kind of going through a lot of different things right now. But anywho, um, so as you can see here on the side, I put the classes I was taking for that particular semester. So here I was taking Gero, Pharmacology, Medical Terminology, Foundations, and I had a clinical. So normally when the semester would start for me, every single semester, I would get the syllabus and I will immediately take out my planner and write down all of my dates, homework dates, all of my exam dates, my quizzes, important assignments will go on my um, monthly calendar here. So it could just be easier for me to follow along each, each day. So for instance, if I knew I had an exam here for Jero around this week in here, I need to start preparing, if not a little bit before that. Um, so this is just kind of um, an example of how I stayed organized in order to, you know, study and just stay on top of all of my assignments. So for classes like AMP1, AMP2, and pharmacology, along with my medical terminology class, um, these flashcards are more so AMP, but again each class was different for me so for amp1 i would put together flashcards. um i really was i was dedicated doing this y'all like <laughs> printing out pictures and being able to recognize what was what so for amp2 this is what helped me along with pharmacology and the medical terminology for medical terminology i also used quizlet um to better help me understand and just be familiar with the whole flashcard concept. I feel like with medical terminology, I had other classes um, like Gero and pharmacology that I had going on that actually sitting there and writing out flashcards would have been too much for me. So um, I did utilize Quizlet most times because some people uh, have already kind of created different um flashcards on Quizlet so I would just kind of find those and study those which were very very helpful um but yeah these were I don't know if this was AMP1 or AMP2 I don't know um but yeah this is what helped me for anatomy and physiology pharmacology and medical terminology using flashcards and yeah that's what helped me study for those specific classes as time went on throughout nursing school, there were so many different ways that I studied that I honestly was all over the place, all over the place in a good way, um, because I, I feel like each class, you have to approach it differently in order to understand the content. So when I did start off and transfer to a new school to start my BSN program, I had to take microbiology. So for micro... As the class kind of started, I kind of knew right away that I probably should be in touch with the professor and also do um, tutoring, which I did. So sometimes after tutoring, um, I would kind of do my notes this way, just kind of get a blank sheet of paper and write things out. That was my way of studying to retain content. Um, and that's what worked best for me. Here's another... And obviously I love different color pens and markers and highlighters because that's what helps me to stay organized and to be in the mood to study. Because um, I feel like microbiology was pretty fun for me. Like once I had a tutor and was in touch with my professor and everything, I was excited to, to learn really. <laughs> um, so these are just more notes from my microbiology class. And yeah, so for micro, mainly just staying organized, tutoring, staying in touch with the um, professor and writing out my notes was how I did micro. So these are a few notes that I found from pathophysiology. As you can see, uh, for this class, I mainly used her PowerPoints. I feel like her, her PowerPoints were very, very helpful um in studying for her quizzes and exams and I didn't necessarily um you know do notes like these uh because her powerpoints were pretty thorough if anything as classes went on I did record her lectures for patho um that was helpful y'all like very very helpful she would um 
kind of you know go through the content as you can see i will have the times where if i miss something here i can just go back at this minute mark and fill in the blanks or just add things that i missed as she was doing the lecture um so yeah how i studied for patho mainly used her powerpoints reviewed wrote down extra notes that was important um and i also listened back to her lectures and as far as recording i just recorded her lectures on my phone and when it was time for me to review or study i will listen back to those notes review my own notes and i was set to go i believe i got a a in pathophysiology and this is another class i actually enjoyed that in micro so you can kind of see here how i had it all laid out and yeah so again my studying techniques were a little bit different for each class depending on the instructor um it, you just got to kind of figure out a way on how to go about reviewing for that okay so message one Kind of the same thing similar to my was it patho um yeah i would just kind of use the yeah i think it was patho just kind of used her powerpoints and i also recorded her lectures and wrote down notes would come home re-listen to the lecture fill in anything that i missed and would go from there um so yeah, message one and patho was pretty similar. Again, I will review with friends. I really did not go to tutoring for message one because I felt as though I didn't really need to. Um, if I did need clarification on something, who this is a lot. What lecture was this? Oh, CAD, uh, hypertension and angina. Um, so yeah. Didn't really do tutoring, but I did get together with friends sometimes to review. And this is what helped me study. Is my med search two notes while being in nursing school. Um, I believe my approach was this is was a little bit similar to uh, my microbiology class. Um, I honestly just kind of took the time out, made concept maps, again, used different colors to you know keep me organized and to want to study um and i would say my MediSearch 2 class was pretty pretty intense because it was different from all my other MediSearch classes like the instructor was on it um she wanted us to make sure we were understanding the content she wanted us to ask questions and things of that sort and then most times my professor which i loved about her class she would give us these handouts in the beginning or at the end of class which um it would be like a review. So normally if we could answer these questions, then for that particular topic, we were pretty much set to go when it came to quizzes and exams. Um, and again, these are just more notes for that. So another way that I study, not only doing this, reviewing this and writing out notes, I would study with friends, only one to two other people. We would normally meet at the library and would just go in with going over content, um, asking each other questions, going over things that we didn't understand, writing things out on the whiteboard. That was really, 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 really helpful. Like you have to stay focused and organized and you'll be set to go. Along with um, MedSearch 2, another way I studied was also going to um, the professor's tutoring sessions.